happens when you live in a house or a condo and when you open the front door, you were right in the living room. We've got a solution for you. Tomorrow, Robbins Griffith is here from Homestead to show you how you can demarcate the space, make it yeah. into more of an entryway because when you, when you come in and it's just that room, mm -hmm. you want to make it feel like it, you know, there's more of a foyer there, a yes. fake foyer. Fake, fake if you will. Hashtag fake foyer. Yes. If, you know what, if we're talking about it as kind of like a zone or a, this is one of the areas in our homes that has the most traffic yes. and it's often the smallest and we kind of tend to overlook it and when people are decorating they, they, they're freaking out for storage reasons so they look for right. just purely function and the idea is that in an open concept space you really want it to flow with the rest of the room it's often like the first thing people see mm -hmm. so let's pretend there's a door here I'm going to show you two different looks and two different ways of design like working within that open concept space okay so you walk I'm in just the door. come honey I'm home hi, <laughs> hi. I've got so. dinner ready that would never happen <laughs> It's okay, I've got uh, Ubers on the way. Perfect. <laughs> um, this look, obviously, for more of the fashionista, because we've got the pinks and the golds and lucite and all of that. Yeah. But the idea is, I've come in, this console table is acting as a side table for the sofa, but it's also almost like a room divider, helping mm -hmm. to delineate these two spaces. Right. Okay, so the other thing we've got is this great rug that's actually polypropylene, so you can hose oh, it good. down if it's high traffic and it gets dirty. So the, this rug also helps create the, uh, the fake hallway or the fake foyer. Yes. Because you've got kind of this zone you're coming through. And one thing I would say for both looks, you need the three S's storage, surface, and seating. Surface area to get all your stuff. You need that, that's crucial. So that, we've got, that console table is like the thing that's gonna make that yes. work. This is what I like to call like a landing station. Yes. So that things don't, your mail doesn't end up in the living room and on the dining room table. So uh -huh. you've got trays for keys, boxes, and then of course, these cute bet, like storage bins in a pinch, you can use these for throwing everybody's shoes in or hats and mittens, whatever it is. Right. And you know, that's something easy that's like, pick it up for $25, it's pretty, mm -hmm. it's adding to the space so that these things should be functional as well. And then let's not forget about vertical space. Yep. So this girl who lives here needs to check her makeup before she's leaving. Yes, she does. A beautiful mirror. And again, it doesn't have to be like a hallway mirror. Right. Go with something you love that fits with the decor and of course hooks, like use that vertical space. Yep. We've got a pretty stool. You can sit on to put sit your down shoes and put on. Put your shoes on. Your strap right. and stilettos. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to uh, the second house. So this time, honey, I'm home. <laughs> Hi. Uber's on the way with dinner. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So in this space, you've got you've done the same thing, but you've almost flipped it. So you've got the console table on this side. Right. So this look a little bit more natural and yep. mid-century modern. Here we're not creating a hallway. It's like one space. You know, we know that this is the entryway, but yet it's very cohesive with the rest of the look. So it doesn't feel out of place that you have this kind of landing station, if you will, that's part of your living room. Right. It's all very cohesive in terms of the styling. Okay. But again, we still have, whoops, lots of storage. You know, anything you can take advantage of that vertical wall space, put your hats or a dog leash or whatever on the hook. Mm -hmm. We've got some big artwork again so to make nice. a statement so that it's beautiful. It's not just functional. You can have both. Yes, right? and, and it makes it look like this is intentional. You know, this space right. is being marked as a space, the landing area, yes. as you said. So yeah. That the art helps. And then, of course, we've got these two little stools that are so great because they're not very deep, so they tuck away really yep. nicely. They're not in the way, but if you needed to, you could pull them out into the living room for extra seating. Yep. This is a bathroom storage piece. Oh. So when I look at it, I see something storage that really could be in any room of the house. Absolutely. Um, but, you know, we're using it in an entryway, and that's just that's a good way of shopping to to think outside the box in terms of which departments you're going in because you right. might stumble upon something great. Really good. And we also have the lighting happening here. Yes. Um, which is nice in, in our in our area as soon as we walk in. Yes, it's and functional. And the it's pendant, pretty. you know, you need that, but it can again help sort of delineate yeah. this is your entryway even though it's that. open. These are all really good practical tips and they're small things. They're gonna make a yes. big difference in your space. Exactly. So thank you.